Hey, brothers and sisters, how are you? This is Anna. Oil is the name of Yeshua. I, brothers and sisters, have a message for you from the Lord, from Abba Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Holy Spirit, all of you who are looking at the woman at Revelation 12 sign. Remember how I told you that the woman Revelation sign, tw <laughs> that the Revelation 12 sign represents us who are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who have proclaimed Yeshua HaMashiach as our beloved Messiah, as our beloved Savior. I know you remember that. Well, anyway, this does represent us as a church. It does not represent rapture. We will not be raptured out of here. But the good news I would like to emphasize to you and show you throughout the scriptures, how you, my brothers and sisters, how this um, symbolizes this woman revolution to say many things, anything from us as a movement, that as a church, as a whole, unified together, us, the church, the Gentiles, Yeshua HaMashiach being the head of the church, guiding us through the precious Holy Spirit, as well as us being unified already, the two houses in spirit, at least in spirit, praise be to Jesus, praise be to Yahweh, hallelujah, Thank you for the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. Father, yeah, we are unified with the Jews through the Ruach HaKodesh, the Jews who love Jesus Christ of Nazareth all the same as you and I do. The woman, the woman of the Revelation 12 sign does represent our, in a way, some, I'll call it a spiritual mother, and that would be wisdom. That she, this is why Father Yah has been speaking through my lips, asking you, my brothers and sisters, to ask for wisdom. I'm blessed with the precious gift of wisdom and the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. And I am here to brothers and sisters to, to remind you that to get wisdom, one must ask for wisdom. And that's the beginning of wisdom is also being having a fear of Abba Father and also having a hatred of all wickedness you cannot receive wisdom my brothers and sisters if your heart is not purged if your heart is not purged out of hatred judgment condemnation towards your brothers and sisters that means that your hatred you don't love jesus christ or 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 not as you should be you should get there and you should want to work on that heart the heart has to be purged so that you can join this movement that the church, the child, the male child is us being birthed out of that woman. The Holy Spirit guidance through the tree of life. Tree of life is the Holy Spirit. Tree of life is wisdom. This is why I wasn't, I, I, if you have never studied who Yeshua HaMashiach is in his suffering, please do so today. Start doing so today. It is your time to meet your, to meet your beloved Savior, to meet him intimately and to see what who he is intimately so that you can differentiate his voice my brothers and sisters or you will not be part of this movement you will not be part of the male child that's being birthed right now as we speak you still have time the door is still open you have to empty yourself out and you have to please start running the race continue on running the race the race isn't done because we were saved and we were trained to whatever degree you were trained you are trained, or at least if your training has begun, at least if you are saved, as long as you're gonna start today, pray on a regular basis, reading scriptures on a regular basis, assume you know nothing, ask questions with a childlike curiosity, and then wait for an answer, remain moldable, teachable. It's what I've been asking you brothers and sisters here from day one, almost four years ago, in, in ab about this time, maybe in a few days, it will be four years since this channel has begun. And this channel has never grown. Why? Because it's shadow banned. Why? Because what I teach is ra not rapture preparedness, because Jesus wasn't teaching rapture preparedness, prepare because I'm, I'm, I'm going to rapture you one day. He was teaching prepare so that you can be not your own. But as, as the moment, as you know, Jesus was teaching, we repent of our sins. We become, we become an, as if ambassadors to Abba Father. We are not our own, Jesus was teaching, because we are supposed to be all about Heavenly Holy Father's business. If Jesus said in multitude of teachings, how a person will not enter the kingdom of heaven for example number one is if you know that you're supposed to run the race but you refuse to run the race 
In other words, you are saved, you learn some things about Jesus, and then you're just like, ah, I don't feel like saving other people. Maybe you had opportunity, not that you're looking for them, but maybe Abba Father placed the opportunity in your life to talk about Jesus to someone who wasn't feeling good or is hurting or is in pain and you didn't comfort them or maybe you didn't feed them or maybe you didn't clothe them, whatever. It's just an example. Imagine you're not saying to them, you know, hey, you listen, I've been there. Maybe you could speak from your own heart. In other words, do you recognize the divine opportunities that Abba Father has placed in your life? is placing in your life because if you haven't that's listen i'm not here to condemn you it takes training it takes a while sometimes we are so wrapped up in our own world we forget we will not see but those spiritual scales my brothers and sisters are coming off of us right now as we speak and the scales were not placed there by by the enemy the scales were placed there by our heavenly holy father and their spiritual scales upon our spiritual eyes and ears but also our hearts and if the heart the heart has to be purged with hyssop first as Jesus Christ of Nazareth died on a cross for this is why he was fed gall and 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 with with hyssop he was fed vinegar bitterness with into his mouth with that sponge that's the that's the that's the gall that's that bitterness we have to fight our own bitterness and not suppress it but you have to purge it completely out of your mind body soul spirit and your heart your hearts my brothers and sisters it is you can, you yourself can do nothing you yourself are powerless it is abba father who has to purge our hearts and our hearts of stone were turned already to with majority of you into hearts of flesh you Jewish brothers and sisters, you are next in line to be harvested. You Israel, you, because you, from you come salvation Jews. Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach is a Jew. And as he said, from Jews come salvation. It is an actual praise between Yeshua and Jesus teaching you deserve to know what is your inheritance not only that Yeshua HaMashiach the Savior of this world your Mashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth was a Jew but from you you the Jews come salvation and we Gentiles we were saved and we were trained so that we can introduce the Messiah to you so that you will not fall for the Antichrist as we are as Gentiles right now experiencing praise be to Jesus that sign of a woman Revelation 12 in the second heaven brothers and sisters all those star uh, star alignments right now and for the next month or so represents the fullness of the gentiles but also brothers and sisters the elijah type the elijah type who is here on earth he is i will not tell you who it is but i will tell you this person is in the continental united states of america and i'll tell you it's no one that it's a person that has many other spiritual ranks and everybody's expecting a man and i'll tell you this much it is not a male and this is something that people will be tested on as they will be tested on as the woman of revelation 12 sign also is brothers and sisters about a tree of life wisdom wisdom those of us who are holy spirit filled holy spirit led those of us who test the spirits in accordance to the first book of John chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 you who are obedient who hearken unto only unto the voice of Yeshua HaMashiach and you refuse to hearken listen unto anyone else's voice you give up all the false doctrines of Jezebel's you know that you are expected as we are all looking we are hoping for the best we pray for the best bottom line is this we were awakened and trained because we were all justified, our sins purged, cleansed, our minds, bodies, soul, spirits, hearts were purged of all the sin because you repented of your sin and you ask for mercy and forgiveness. Then you ask for the free gift of grace, which was you receiving a free gift of grace, the seal of the Holy Spirit, right? For it is written in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 14, Jesus tells us that the Holy Spirit is given unto us the seal of the Holy Spirit, like an engagement ring, is given on to a bride. With, with future promise of all other inheritance that we are yet to receive. And that if you are sealed, that you are not subject to Abba Father, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wrath. However, we are prepared as Jesus was preparing his disciples, apostles. We, as God's family members, Abba Father, extra in Zechariah chapter 13, as I've been teaching you in the past many, many years, 
and also reminding you in the past many, many months that God the Father desires gold for his family members, which means what? It means that he wants us to be all about his business. He wants us, or we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Yeshua said, you will not, if you're not about Father's business, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you have three types of baptism, baptism of, of the Holy Spirit, baptism of water, baptism of fire, right? You will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you will ask to carry the cross for Yeshua HaMashiach. And of course, we have to be worthy to ask to carry the cross for Jesus Christ of Nazareth, someone with unpurged heart, evil heart, filled still with malice, bitterness towards their brothers and sisters, cannot possibly, they can carry their own cross, but they cannot ever be worthy to carry the cross for Yeshua HaMashiach. It, in other words, just as fear of God is a spiritual gift, just as having dreams and visions is important, but it's not a spiritual gift, I repeat, it's not part of the Holy Spirit gift. We brothers and sisters who have worked very hard in the past many months, years, weeks, days, no, it doesn't matter where you are. It matters where, where you are in your mind, in your, in your heart, status, emotionally, spiritually. How much do you, do you love Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, in truth and in spirit? Do you really run after His presence? Because we, as the Bride of Christ, we are the Father, Abba, Father's gold. And He trains us as gold. He will test and try us, all of us, brothers and sisters, as Jesus says in Revelation chapter 3, Abba, the, 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 the test, the, I will keep you to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, Yeshua said, I will, because thou hast kept the word of my patient endurance. Why? Because that angel obviously already is in the middle of her mission. That angel is also his sister and bride. She is symbolic. I'll say it this way. I believe she is wisdom herself here on earth. This is a person that will be guiding that movement. However, it will work through the spirit. And if not, my brothers and sisters, if you don't understand who the Holy Spirit is, who wisdom is, wisdom is the tree of life and Holy Spirit is a tree of life. Brothers and sisters, don't worry about it. It's, it's right now. What's relevant to our salvation, praise be to Jesus, is only knowing Yeshua HaMashiach intimately and testing the spirits and helping one another, assisting one another in running this race. The woman of the Revelation 12 sign is a sign of Zion, sign of daughter Zion, Queen Zion. And us, brothers and sisters, as the two houses, the house of Jacob united with the house of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel uniting together through that Holy Spirit guidance, through Abba Father's wisdom injustice and righteousness. We who have the testimony of Jesus, testimony of Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, we will overcome the spirit of Antichrist, while other brothers and sisters will not overcome. Why? Because they do not know Jesus Christ of Nazareth intimately. And that's the bottom line. Either you know Yeshua HaMashiach intimately or you don't. A person knows whether they truly spend time with Yeshua daily or they don't. They know whether they converse with the Father with, through the Son or they don't. The Father will not come and sup with a person who doesn't approve of Jesus Christ of Nazareth or who still is looking for strifes with their brothers and sisters. If you repent, and you will, you will be quickly forgiven, of course, because ultimately Holy Spirit and wisdom wants to bless you with her presence, but Holy wisdom cannot enter, uh, unite through the Holy Spirit uh, uh, you know, she's a tree of life. Wisdom is a, one of the feminine spirits of Abba Father. And, she, you know, along with the spirit of justice and righteousness, my brothers and sisters, we all must be worthy to receive a gift of wisdom in order to possess it. We must desire it. We must also respect it and treasure it. And that's the difference between us who are part of the male child as the rest of our brother, while the rest are not there yet. But the point is, if you are willing if to empty yourself out, and if you will not 
put you from you know in an armor of God there's there's we have a helmet of salvation that's from the Ephesians chapter 6 right Jesus says uh, through his apostles right who are by the way Abba Father's gold we are expected to be God the Father's gold so by the way just quick reminder what does he want us to be like his apostles without an exception whether you do it whether you 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 are on your way to get there your mind must be that of I want to get there I want to be Abba Father's Yeshua HaMashiach true apostle because that's Abba Father's God and if you go to the book of Zechariah chapter 13 that's what God the Father says which addresses all 12 tribes of Israel which we Gentiles we Gentiles who were grafted in are grafted in as we speak right now on to the Jews from Jews why because from Jews comes salvation that means also we will not that's the sign of a woman of Revelation 12 as being grafted in onto the Jews so our job now is harvest harvesting the souls harvesting the spirits sowing where our master Yeshua did not previously sow. we have to you we are responsible for being the light in the darkness to an entire humanity yes you've heard me right an entire humanity and whoever father will place in your path we must be willing to recognize that he wants us to harvest them or that he wants us to speak about Jesus and introduce them to Yeshua HaMashiach and that they are that there is hope for the world that there's hope that even though times are changing fast this is in accordance I repeat in accordance to our Heavenly Holy Father's holy divine will and we cannot do anything about it other than we uh, we must keep our eyes on jesus we must keep our eyes on yeshua hamashiach and we must follow only in his teachings and no one else's teaching not one word less not one word more let your yes be yes brothers and sisters and your no be no because anything more than that is from the wicked one jesus was teaching us so going back to an armor of yah the armor of god in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 there's an armor of God let me sit down and in an armor of God we have helmet of salvation we have a breastplate of righteousness we have a belt of truth right and we know brothers and sisters that there's a I should do a teaching on an armor of God I think I told you that and, and there should be one from three years ago um, so if you look in my early videos, probably it's a 10 to 15 minute video. There should be a teaching there on an armor of God. And I briefly tell you what it all means. But you know what? Thank you for reminding Holy Spirit. We will do that teaching. I'm about to give you verses to prove to you how we are that movement, the woman of Revelation 12, daughter Zion is Queen Zion, and how we are part of that movement as a male child, whatever that means through the Holy Spirit, through wisdom, us being united together on the same level, or at least being willing to remain moldable, teachable through Ruach HaKodesh, through wisdom. Again, you need wisdom, you need to ask wisdom and really desire it and respect it and this way you will grow in wisdom along with the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit is a one big gigantic golden lamp it's a tree of life we have a different kind of lamp it's called a human spirit and our human spirit uh, uh, Holy Spirit when we cry when we lament testifies along with our lamp lamp being uh, our human spirit wisdom teaches what that lamp is for human which is I repeat a human spirit in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27 our lamps have to as a wise virgin wise virgin has a lamp filled with oil and she has oil above than what goes into the lamp sort of speak in spirit that you you continue even if you if you got your oil today you continue on getting your oil the next day and the next day and the next day meaning you don't obsess over leaving departing from this world but you think oh abba father how can i serve you how can i go and harvest my brothers and sisters what would you like me to do today uh, you are uh, curious about first and foremost what your position within the kingdom of heaven is but of course i repeat my I remind you it has to do with awakening others and or those who are awakened to lead them 
to daily studies and seeking Yeshua HaMashiach. For the bride of Christ, a wise virgin seeks her Messiah, her Lord and Savior, her beloved, that she wants to marry. We, as the bride of Christ, we run after Messiah. We must go and, and as we, you know, we must run after our beloved. Our beloved will come to us if we will be long enough and seek him, but you cannot allow your beloved to wait by the window, by the, by the door when he's knocking and knocking and people hear knocking and knocking and they're like oh well I guess uh, well I'm already done I'm saved take off their shoes and of meaning the shoes from the armor of God and they sort of speak his spiritually take off their shoes and they put it in a closet no beloved you have to quickly get up and repent of that and you have to drop down on face down on, on the floor and repent, repent, repent. And if you, you don't know what to repent for, just do go through the motion of literally be on your floor face down. I did this four and a half years ago, five years ago. I did this on and off through my first year to two years, I think, of my... Uh, me learning who Yeshua was, learning, who, getting to know him intimately. And then Abba Father, Abba Father soon thereafter, when he sees someone really treasuring who Jesus is and treasuring his sacrifice, God the Father comes, my brothers and sisters, and subs with us also. And this is also important because later on, as you read the book of Revelation, Jesus says, you know, I will confess, my, uh, I will confess your name in front of the angels and God the Father, meaning Abba Father, Yod Vahevave, the great I am also, which Yeshua Jesus is also the great I am. Why? Because Jesus is the only begotten Son of God by spiritual title. He died on the cross for our sins and the sins of the world. And Abba Father, Yod Vahevave, has risen him from the dead on the third day, right? You believe those three things, right? Which is, by the way, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, proclaim them with your lips out loud. Those three things I just told you about and you shall be saved. To be saved is super easy, but to run the race is a whole different state of mind. It's a whole different um, uh, uh, willingness to serve Abba Father, Jesus Christ the Son. It is. It doesn't matter how little you know or how much you know. As Jesus was teaching through parables, as I told you, brothers and sisters, you've been awakened, you've been saved, so that you can serve the Lord not in your own terms you can read we listen we have satanists serving that have penetrated our church infiltrated our church that teach scriptures every day but they do no no they do not produce the fruit of the holy spirit they have no holy spirit in them some of them are straight up satanists which is warlock with us some of them they they pretend that they're serve on and that they're just lukewarm and or they are lukewarm because they don't know any better we have all kinds of uh, we have all kinds of enemies within our church and this is this is the beginning of the process of weeding them out, Abba Father, shutting them down, giving them less, one less final chance in the name of Jesus to repent and to depart, shut down their ministries, give away their money, contribute to the church so that their souls, their spirits, and their family, soul, spirits, and that of their children can be saved in the name of Jesus because that's wickedness. And Abba Father is putting wickedness in a basket and he's going to put a heavy lid on it made out of lead and he's going to call he on his special angels and it's that, that, that basket is going to be carry it out brothers and sisters to the fires of hell it will be taken it will be taken into the Gehenna Gehenna the type of Gehenna meaning hell here on earth by wormwood by warm or judgments by fire and all the people that will go sort of speak spiritually it's an actual prophecy from I think it's is in the book of Zechariah or Isaiah? I think it's in Isaiah. This will be, brothers and sisters, this is an, an executement of an actual prophecy. It's a spiritual language that I'm speaking here. You, some of you, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter right now for the purposes of this message. It's irrelevant to our message. I'm not going to get into it. The point is, brothers and sisters, Abba Father is eradicating all wickedness out of his church. Either you're with him and you're part of that church, people who are not spiritually intimately with him. It do, I don't care if you have... 50 ministries with 50 locations you are not part of our church you are you are you are and if you are lukewarm you are part of the church you will have a chance to repent now and come out of that and you have to do as he tells you or you will go 
into the refine not just refiners fire refiners fires for testing tri periods of trials and testing is for all of us as i was about to tell you in the book of revelation chapter 3 jesus says to the angel of the church of philadelphia because thou hast kept my word of patient endurance i will keep thee from the time of trials and testings that i'm sending upon the whole world to test all inhabitants of the earth that means all means all. So that means, brothers and sisters, that all, anyone who serves Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God the Father has to be tested and tried. Why? Jesus was a perfect spotless lamb. And after he received the gift of the Holy Spirit, he was tested under extremal condition because Yeshua was 40 days fasting. 40 days, 40 nights, he, was, he had no water, no food. That's extremal conditions. And under those conditions, Satan was allowed to even test Yeshua HaMashiach, God, the only begotten son of Yah, the only begotten son of God, Abba, Father, Son, the Word of God, God in the flesh, the great I Am, the Aleph and Taf, meaning the beginning and end, Yeshua HaMashiach was allowed to be tested, not purified. And we all still, as children of God, we need to be purified seven times as silver is purified. That's in Zechariah chapter 13. You and I, we need to be tested and tried and purified. It's a process. When Esther, uh, before she met the king and she talked to him personally one-on-one, -on -one, she went on before she met the king. So think here, King Asa Harris, her husband-to-be. Before she married him, she was purified for a certain amount of time with very specific um, spices, anointings, anointing oils. So think here, we, the bride of Christ, we who want to marry Jesus, we, the bride of Christ, we must go through that process of purification through also process of trials and testings. So, for example, mirth represents bitterness. Then there you have aloes, acacia, all of those herbs and oils out of them represent certain things. Again, those are whole different teaching. But for the point of if you want to know spiritually what we have to go through, uh, the bride of Christ will not be pampered like Esther was pampered. We will be pampered a little bit later, rejoicing in our Holy Spirit gifts being multiplied. Because with the latter rain, brothers and sisters, if you are serving Jesus Christ of Nazareth in full willingness of servitude, your heart, you're working hard on your personality traits being purged you allowed father to mold you to shape you turning you into a new person by changing the way you think you think you allowed your thinking to be changed and or you are in the process of changing you are emptying yourself out you are curious what, what he wants you to do you are seeking him intimately you which means how your eyes speak to you how you hear me you know and you understand that you can speak like that with Jesus and if you're not there yet you will do everything in your power starting today to get there to seek Yeshua HaMashiach from now on by emptying yourself out and if you cannot empty yourself out remember we never all could do this we can try but you need help from Jesus so you have to ask him Abba Father in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth please help me empty out my mind my body my soul my spirit for you so I can be of a good, of service to you in this end of days whenever that rapture comes it will come I want to be ready I want to be ready but I don't pray for the great day of the Lord brothers and sisters the great because it's a great day of darkness and gloominess and Abba Father in the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 18 told us do not pray for it my children why are you hoping why are you fasting and praying for the great day of the Lord it's a great day of gloominess and darkness your families will be destroyed after that not saved don't pray for the great day of the Lord the rapture to have hope that you will be saved and protected and or resurrected is important to keep us going day to day but we must not be delusional that he that majority of us most likely we may lose our lives for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for his testimony in the days to come years to come and you must not be afraid of that that's how apostles died. All previous brides of Christ were heavily persecuted. Jesus himself says, indeed, all who desire to live godly lives will be persecuted. And, and the liars and the impostors will go on from bad to worse on deceiving themselves and deceiving others. Second Timothy. 
They will not. If you want to come out of the deception right now is your time or you will not come out of it. Abba Father is saying, that's safe, the Lord. Listen to what I'm saying. You, the deceivers, the lies, you will go on from bad to worse right now, from one deception, delusion into another. And he will allow you for a very short time to, he will allow you tiny bit more in your lying ministries, in your lies. But remember, you will be viewed as the enemy. You will be viewed not as a child of God who is deceived. You're not going to be viewed as the child of God who was who is obedient or who is just lukewarm. No, you will be viewed as an enemy because you know, if you know anywhere at any point in time that you sign a contract to life in the name of Jesus, you are serving Satan. You are a child of Satan and you still, either way, you must leave the God's children alone while the lukewarm will have a chance to repent i believe that god wants all of us to repent this is why he's ever patient with us he wants all of you to repent because you will not my brothers and sisters we have few years left on this earth and we will not survive the the coming god's god's judgments are going to be increased year to year he's going to increase as he's going to increase persecution against the wickedness and evil, he will increase his rewards. And that's so. this is what I was going to tell you, my brothers and sisters. The latter rain is about to fall upon many of you in the years to come. The two witnesses are about to start their testimony. They're about to unify it physically as they're unified in spirit. Praise be to Jesus as they're testifying already on online in their little tiny online ministries. It's a man and a woman. They will be united physically. And the next next things to come, as I already announced it on this, on this channel, oil is the name of Yeshua. By the way, hi, my name is Anna or Anya, a.k.a. oil. I share with you my personal oil but you have to still go ask for your own oil. Expect all our faiths will be tested and tried. We will be all purified. No exceptions, my brothers and sisters. You know different than me and I'm no different than you. I don't care what you're, how much, how well you know Jesus. You will be tested and purified. Angel of the Church of Philadelphia is an angel who is the, the worst suffering angel who already carries the cross for Yeshua HaMashiach. Majority of you, you have never, you've at best carried your own cross. You have not carried a cross for Yeshua HaMashiach but a handful of people. And Or if you suffer for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, and you overcame that suffering, you're not bitter. You, you don't have any issues with your brothers and sisters or with Jesus or with Abba Father. Listen, you are an overcomer. Overcomers can be already from all kinds of churches. We have overcomers within a church from the church of Ladosia, from the church of Smyrna. You who had bitterness in you, like to unbelievable bitterness and you overcame your own bitterness and then even bitterness of others. And now you see you help them and, and maybe you, you're teaching for the kingdom of heaven. You know, because that's your maybe uh, 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 your your calling, right? Listen, guys, that you from the Church of Smyrna. Overall, remember bitterness. The devil will try to afflict us, all of us, with bitterness to a certain level, whether a tiny level, small, or really large. We all gonna have to deal with bitterness, and we have to remain forgivable moldable teachable and see everything that's happening in your life right now remember it will be a test remember at all times you being tested and if you don't suppress anything in you that's coming out address it with abba father in the name of jesus and say father i need to work on this i don't want these feelings to linger in me i need to overcome it and he will empty you out he will spiritually help you through prayer praise and worship he will expose to you he will help you work it out why because he can remove that for you through the holy spirit and he can fill you up a new wine vessel will not be filled with old wine vessel will not be filled with new wine you have to become a new creation my brothers and sisters that means you have to empty yourself out spiritually of all your old way of thinking of all your of all your tack old way of tactics when you were in the world you cannot enter into the church as as a child of God as a righteous child of God under you know with Holy Spirit seal and 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 the rebuke for example people who are anointed by God like the two witnesses or people who are the seven one of the seven angels of the seven churches if you lack judgments and and you know clarity of mind that someone that Jesus is speaking through someone like me and that wisdom is speaking and teaching through me Holy Spirit is speaking and teaching through me then you know you are in great danger of condemning yourself and you have to be careful
because the mind of we have the mind of Christ we God's gold or if you're in the process of becoming Abba Father's gold that mind is the mind of Christ is not subject to no one else's scrutiny someone who is a spiritual being uh, not a spiritual being how can I say this in the book of I give you uh, this is in the book of Romans chapter 8 in fact let me find it brothers and sisters and I'm almost done because we got to get to those verses you guys have to forgive me my book my Bible is completely oh yeah 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 okay <clears throat> This is not it, but this is something you, we all need to learn, right? So listen, we know that, that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose for those whom He foreknew. He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in order that He may be the firstborn within a large family, who Jesus and those whom He predestined, He also called, that's us. And those whom he also called, he justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Brothers and sisters, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those who are in his spirit. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who are in his spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit. We, my beloved brothers and sisters, are no longer in the flesh as a new creation. So remember, no one can accuse you of being in the flesh as a new creation. Why? Because the Spirit of God dwells within you, brothers and sisters, meaning the Holy Spirit. Anyone who does not have the Holy Spirit does not belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, does not belong to God the Father. And I want you to warn you that a lot of people who think that they have Holy Spirit, who are wicked in the mouth, wicked in the thought. The Holy Spirit is still in you right now, but the Holy Spirit is completely on the back burner and you need to do everything and anything in your power if you want to be saved and if you want the Holy Spirit to remain in you because this is why, brothers and sisters, a spiritual mark, the mark of Cain, in the end of days, that's the mark of the beast, that Abba Father, Someone when uh, God the Father is, I cannot, I don't want to say, He doesn't ever, ever want to give up on us. But brothers and sisters, the process of a darkening of a soul, darkening of a heart is a real thing. And people who are futile in their thinking, people who are seeking for strife, still thinking that someone like me is here out to get you, and you are looking for strife day after day, month after month, year after year, you come here. When I... When I'm, the things that I've done in spirit, all it takes is to test the spirits, all it takes to, a good tree produces only good fruit. A bad tree produces bad fruit. I don't produce sour fruit. I don't produce sourness. People who come here to this channel feel, feel, uh, feel motivated, feel loved, feel motivated to do more work because now they know they are guided because I do teachings as he speaks through my lips and they are all perfect in accordance to as he teaches through his son Jesus Christ of Nazareth our beloved Messiah our Savior our beloved husband to be because he's my beloved husband and I want to tell you how much I love my husband who suffered for us for our sins and the sins of the world and it hurts my feelings but I don't let that get to me because I want you to know that the process of a darkening of a soul has already begun for many and many people refuse to see it that the devil has got into your heart and that he's trying to overtake you and you allowing him to speak through you you allowing him to manifest through you and you're gonna go to hell if you're not gonna stop and before that you need to know that in the end of days we will experience hell on earth not us, his children, but those who are wicked and evil, who hate their brothers and sisters. It also means that you then hate Jesus himself. You cannot say, I love you, Jesus, but let me go to, onto Anna's channel and look for strife. When every single one of my teaching is precisely as Jesus was teaching. All you witches, warlocks who come here and spy on me where I live, know and understand that I've spared you, I spared you, I spared you, and I forgive you, I forgive you. But now I still forgive you. I will always forgive you. But you must understand whom you assaulted. You do know where you came here, who you assaulted. 
And there's a price to pay now because you cannot continue on harassing me, bullying me through your demons and assaulting me and get away with it. Do you understand? I said no more. God says no more. Whether it's me or, or someone else in my family and, uh, and or my family as in meaning the church. You are to get away from us. You are to stay away from us and our people, wicked ones. Unless you are here to repent, unless you're here to listen for warnings, keep your mouth shut, wicked one, and get away from us. Listen, because it will save your soul. Listen, it will save your flesh. But your flesh, my brothers and sisters, will not inherit, oh, whether this, I'm, uh, now I'm speaking to all of us, this human body will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, brothers and sisters. We must be ready. Our souls, our spirits, our hearts must be purged so that in our hearts where the Holy Spirit lives, your heart must be taken over by the love of the Ruach HaKodesh, by wisdom, the tree of life must live inside of your heart and inside of your mind, not a seed of evil, not a seed of bitterness. I'm appealing to you. Please repent because you are out of time. You know who you are. And there's so many, the rest of you, who've done it in the past. I love you and Jesus loves you. You are all about to be left desolate. You who are wicked, who are witches, warlocks. Spiritually, technically, you are already left desolate. We already see it. What's next year, the year, two years from now? You are all to be left desolate. Everything that the enemy, brothers and sisters, teaches is a delusion just to get those people to do wicked, evil things against us. Forgive those people, brothers and sisters, and move on and seek solitude with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do not search ever any of your armor, a part of your armor of God in a closet. If you set any of its parts in a closet, and as I said, have, have, be ready. So in order to be ready to, to, for, to face any kind of calamity, stress, tribulation, trial, and test that God the Father sends. I repeat, Abba Father sends. He sends them so that He molds us and shapes us. And every little bit of the, that the, the, he will allow the enemy to tempt you is so that you can overcome. So you should, you should see this, brothers. If you get agitated for no reason around a person that normally, normally doesn't agitate you, or maybe there's no reason for you to feel agitated around them and or nervous, remember, this could be the enemy testing you. But God is allowing because it's also a test from Abba Father. We only through numerous trials and testings, you will know what was the devil's attack versus God the Father testing. Because all things are his servants on earth. God the Father, I repeat, know it for eternity in accordance to Job as precept, meaning divine law, even under old covenant that represents God the Father's personality, which means that my brothers and sisters, his personality, God the Father's Jesus Christ of Nazareth personality never changes. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He will be the same tomorrow. So in Job 37, 23, Abba Father says, God, Job says, so the Holy Spirit speaks through Job. God the Father will never use violence against his children, against his people. I think it says people. Job 36, verse 4, Abba Father will never, yod vah will never use, will never pervert justice due to the widow, the stranger, and the fatherless. That's a precept. That involves people in pain of any kind, people dealing with a lot of stress, people who are assaulted and attacked by the end, people who are homeless, poverty ridden, people who are experiencing right now a lot of trials and testings. God is allowing this because He wants you to find Him. He wants you to seek Jesus because this is He's trying to save your soul. This is the last call to save souls. And as we are reaching right now, experiencing the fullness of Gentiles, we will continue on saving our Gentile brothers and sisters from Catholic Church, from, from Islam from any other religion, anyone who desires peace, inner peace, no matter what will be in the world, you will experience inner peace, all for the supreme glory of God the Father. To understand this better, eat book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 14, brothers and sisters, praise be to Jesus. I think I have to speak, finish speaking here because this is already too long. I have to give you verses regarding the women of Revelation 12 sign and to prove to you that we are all in this together. So brothers and sisters, do this. If you feel like you need to empty yourself out, 
find solitude, a bedroom space somewhere, whatever, outside, inside of the house where you can lay face down, spread your arms and just simply have a heart to heart. This is a position of meekness and humbleness and ask, we all should do it as we are fasting and or attempt to do at least uh, what I call a Daniel's fast, which is, you know, you can have liquids, you can have a, a little broth, no, no, like pieces of vegetables or potatoes, or you can have a little salad if you're suffering from, um, uh, you know, um, uh, what is it called when you have high and low sugar levels? Forgive me, I'm lacking. English is my fourth language. Anyway, um, people who are diabetic, so please, if you have any uh, medical conditions, again, tr you know, you need to you need to have your juice ready. You need to have your whatever piece of candy ready, you need to have your apple, whatever you eat, uh, orange ready. So you, but try, show God that you're trying. Show God the Father that you are not afraid of that because you're putting, don't be foolish. Again, don't be silly. You know what this does if you don't have your medication, but you must seek solitude because soon we might, we might not be able to get our medications and you need to believe in God so much that he will keep you alive, that he will keep you whole and faithful and true. Praise be to Jesus that you need to also, brothers and sisters, as we need to empty ourselves out and he need to fill us in, we need to rededicate ourselves to Abba Father through Yeshua HaMashiach through the Holy Spirit and we need to make we need to ask him just to fill us up and we need to mean it and we need to from now on do it as he says seek him every day if you don't worry that you don't understand anything that the scripture says if you are new in this that's that was me a few years back you there's still a lot of things I don't understand if I don't understand them I cannot teach you them I can only share with you what he has you know what he has uh, went over with me personally, lesson by lesson, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. I share with you then what the new covenant is, the law of faith, because we're saved by grace through faith, says Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9. Write that down. And I teach you, for example, what is what is that the, that the, what has happened with the old covenant called the law of sin the law of death no longer exists a jewish brothers and sisters that does not exist that covenant was nailed to the cross with the record of our sin for it is written first book of call first book of colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 tells us so remember that jesus christ of nazareth gave us full power and authority power excuse me power and authority over all spirits of this earth the so-called scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy that satan which is in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 17 to 20, I teach this in detail on this channel. Oil is the name of Yeshua. I teach you here also how to hear Jesus Christ and only Him and hearken unto no one else. If you obey those step-by-step -step instructions, you will prevail. You will prevail over the spirit of Antichrist. You will prevail over any kind of test and lesson with His help and assistance because Holy Spirit will be vibrating within you in truth and in spirit. Holy Spirit will be, you will become a a lamp in the darkness your Holy Spirit will not go on a back burner until the, this because otherwise seeds of bitterness overtake wicked evil people who don't work on their personality personality traits and character who don't who say well I'm perfect I'm already saved I'm a perfect no honey you are saved that to be saved is easy but overall this is a process of purification this is a process of trials and testings we have to we are all in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, I repeat, all of us, we have to become Christ-like, no exceptions. Did you hear me? All of us, we have to become Christ-like, no exceptions. And there's a special verse on that for that in a book of, in a book of Romans. Um, as I told you earlier in the book of Romans chapter 8, when I was reading to you chapter 8, verse 28 to 30. Please go read it on your own time now. Please do not judge one another. <clears throat> and now, what I was referring earlier to, it, it's, it was the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, and then I'll get to the verses about daughter Zion and Queen Zion in part two, I think now. The true wisdom of God is not subject to anyone else's scrutiny. And let me read this to you, and we're done here. And then part two will be, I will prove to you that we are part of that Revelation 12 sign as a church, as Gentiles being grafted in onto, Gen onto Jews, and that we now have to 
uh, as Satan is going for the Jewish people, he knew that that wisdom is coming to awaken them. Holy Spirit and wisdom is coming to awaken them. Jesus, Abba Father, is coming to awaken them in spirit and through his children as Gentiles on earth. This is why brothers and sisters, uh, our Jewish brothers and sisters are so heavily attacked in Israel. This is why they're, they're trying to attack um, anyone who speaks the true prophetic truth uh, uh, regarding, you know, the new covenant, what the new covenant is, that the, the law of faith, that the old covenant, the law of sin, the law of death has been nullified because it doesn't exist. So if you want to have power and authority over Satan, uh, excuse me, over all the demons in the name of Jesus, only in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you can bind and cast out devils, which is also part of the process of healing. This is part of the process of cleansing. There is nothing unclean, brothers and sisters, will enter the New Jerusalem. Nothing unclean will enter the heavens above, the firmament. And again, you, that reminds me, please believe in the true story of God's creation. Remember, the earth is not a spinning ball sphere. Jesus speaks of, in Psalm 19, of a circuit build that he built for the sun. This is something oval over something flat and oval. If this is shocking to you, you're not there yet. Don't, don't concentrate on that yet. Just concentrate on all things spiritual. Holy Spirit will, will get you there when, when this will become something as, as something that you must, because you must believe in a true story of creation. God says he created columns, uh, you know, firmament. It's in Psalm, for example, 148, 150. Then that's what he created. That means we're not on a spinning ball. The enemy knows that. And this was a wild known fact even still 100 years ago, uh, 200 years ago, brothers. And this is something that they've changed about 450 years ago through Copernicus, through Masonry, through, you know, the, this faction, satanic faction. Besides the point, I love you, brothers and sisters, and I'm here to help you and I'm here to assist you. And, and when it comes, please strive to receive true wisdom of God. But we know that the Lord has said for himself, he has set apart all the godly people for himself, but the Lord hears. So the Lord, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Abba Father, he hears when they, when they call upon his name and he answers them. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. This is a precept. Everything David spoke that was spoken through the Holy Spirit and wisdom. This is why in Psalms, David often speaks as a woman and Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit and wisdom are two separate entities, brothers and sisters, that you, what you must understand that. But remember, don't wonder how it works in, your, in our human thinking because it gets complicated. Just simply repeat what Jesus was teaching about. Holy Spirit is a, is a spirit of Christ, spirit of God the Father, while wisdom is a feminine spirit, part of the seven spirits of God. She is a feminine spirit, a she. Don't put the God in the box. So that's it, simple answer. Remember, if you want to make your request known to God the Father, see, follow the instructions how Jesus was seeking God the Father early, early a.m. hours in the morning. Yes, you have to wake up before the sun gets up or with the sun. It, it start blessing your days. Start blessing your days and for your families. Yes, it's, you're going to be tired. Yes, if you went to sleep at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, praying, and then you have to get up at 4.30, 5 um, or 3.30, yes, it's hard. But if you are a farmer, that should be already easy for you. Just get up half an hour earlier. Your prayers, it's not about being long drawn out. This is for your own safety protection, for your own, to, that you will have that security. I want you to feel the security that the Holy Spirit assures and provides when the Holy Spirit truly leads your life, my brothers and sisters. So get rid of that bitterness. Get Say no to the bitterness. Say no to any kind of wickedness in your life. Say no to the evil that is trying to force itself in your life through other people. You cannot welcome them into your house. You cannot have them in your house. You cannot have voodoo in your house. You cannot have witchcraft in your house. You cannot have crystals in your house. You cannot have, you know, tarot cards in your house. You cannot, you know, you cannot serve two masters, even if you don't do them. If you know someone in your house and you share, and you share a room, bedrooms with them, again, that's, that's, you didn't know, you didn't know. But if you do know, please talk to them and ask them to dispose of it and or you know if you can move out of there or get rid of them because you can you their demons their devils will try to stay in your family bloodline will try to that's illegal but usually the devil will always try and you need to understand that 
that God is trying to commune with a lot of you brothers and sisters and I know a lot of us are poor and we don't have choice to where we live we are glad that we have a bed and a, and a space to lay down I know that but let's be careful so ask Father God to help you with resolving that situation because Father God, if anyone can help you supernaturally, of course, is our beloved Heavenly Holy Father who is without, without limit. He is so powerful. He's so awesome. He's so good. He's so great. And so is His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And so is His Spirit with, without any limitations. Holy Spirit, that I repeat, lives in your heart and in your head. And it's the Spirit of God, the Creator, without limit residing in our hearts in our minds that only holy spirit it's a precept divine law only talks about jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit only glorifies jesus christ of nazareth so remember brothers and sisters you have been set apart you've been set apart you've been justified as i read to you in the book of romans read that verse again Strive, ask for wisdom, and you will start growing in wisdom day to day. If you hear wisdom speak through a person, whether it's a sentence or an idea or a situation or an event, whatever they're teaching, a lesson, listen, don't talk, listen. If you're in a situation where the enemy is talking, let, it, let them talk. Let them, in fact, do all the talking. Let, when you're ready to speak, or when God the Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, will want to speak through you, only wisdom will come out of your mouth because this is my brothers and sisters why you've been trained to let others speak why you let you let the fool you let the foolish go first and then we make our moves we if you are in distress call upon the name of the lord and you shall be saved but remember that sometimes when we are trained remember brothers and sisters that he will guide us through the deep waters he says jesus says in isaiah chapter 43 i will be with you i will guide you through the deep waters i will never uh, forsake you i will never abandon you nor forsake you right that's hebrews 13 verse 8 i'm putting a charger in sorry guys so remember guys Wisdom, wisdom of God is not subject to no one else's scrutiny. And please don't misunderstand brothers and sisters who have used that verse because it is Abba Father who, for example, recently commanded me to use this verse. And of course, it was wrongly misunderstood because of course, the, uh, uh, you know, um, um, if I teach here, you come here, notice I teach you wisdom. I teach you wisdom. I teach you from the book of Proverbs and a lot of stuff when I now, it seems like I'm speaking on my own. I'm still speaking. I go from from uh, one, uh, one precept to another, to another, to another. So if someone knows scriptures very well, they'll recognize this right away. Otherwise, people don't recognize this. So in the book of, uh, first book of Corinthians, chapter two, chapter two. where Paul, in the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, he gives a salutation, he talks about Christ, the power and wisdom of God, he then he proclaims Jesus Christ crucified, then he proclaims true wisdom of Abba Father, true wisdom of God. And listen to this, to what he says, right? Check this out. So I'll read a few sentences and then we're done. Okay. Um, at verse, so chapter two, verse, let's do seven, we're seven. Let's do seven. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages for our glory, for our, ours, our, his children, you, me, our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Do you understand this? Let me read this from the beginning. You know what? Let's just do the whole chapter. You have to understand how special wisdom is and why is it called a tree of life? Why also Holy Spirit is called a tree of life? Why those two work like a double helix human DNA and why you need it or you will not survive? You need to ask for wisdom. It's not an option. You must ask for wisdom. So Paul is writing. This is again, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter two, Paul is writing. So title is proclaiming Christ crucified. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words of wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. 
and I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. This is God's God speaking. Did you hear how he speaks of himself? Did you hear how he says he came to those brothers and sisters? Jesus told us, right? Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, meaning take nothing for granted. Take nothing for granted. If you've been saved, if you're saved, you're saved. But then if you, you must also run the race. Jesus commanded us to run our race and work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Yes, if you die today, you're eventually your soul, your spirit, you, you're going to be risen from the dead, either to eternal hell or eternal love and being at the right hand of Abba Father and Yeshua Mashiach. To eternal glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. But people don't understand that the dark, after you get saved, if you don't run your race with fear and trembling, that the process of darkening of a soul, spirit, your soul, your heart, excuse me, your, yeah, your heart can begin. This is why Jesus through his apostles often was teaching that these foolish people who teach, it says such and such, I don't have a verse right now, that their, that their, that their, heart, that their hearts were darkened. Why? Because of their foolish thinking. Why? Because of their hatred, because of their boastfulness, because of their ego. And God will allow this. Why? Because these people cannot self-exalt against the wisdom of God. They cannot exalt against what Jesus Christ himself was teaching. They cannot teach other things that are not in the scriptures. And if I tell you that something is in the scriptures, like that wisdom is on earth without a shadow of a doubt, I'm, I'm, I already know for a fact that it is. If I tell you that wisdom is a tree of life and Holy Spirit is a tree of life, it's because it's an actual teachings. Brothers and sisters, those are two separate verses, the so-called precepts. I'm digressing. Point being is, everything I teach you here, Usually, if I haven't given you the verses in part one of the video, I'll give you in a comment section. I've given you a week prior in a similar teaching. So look up the descriptions. Look up what, is the, what the video is all about for briefings, but also for verses. Oftentimes, I read to you and I give you verses, but I realize people are bored because I quote so many things. And quoting those verses and numbers, people get distracted. They don't listen to the whole teaching. But you're missing out because I teach wisdom here. I teach step by step, God the Father through my lips, the lips of his oracle, mouthpiece. He teaches you, my brothers and sisters, his wisdom and his lessons on what our covenant is and how to hear him, his son, Jesus Christ, how to hear him most effectively and how to run this race so that you can outsmart the enemy, not by yourself. You cannot do the nothing by yourself. We, without Jesus, without God, we are nothing, brothers and sisters. We have to empty ourselves out. And only God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and Holy Spirit, wisdom, can help us with that. So please ask for wisdom and accept wisdom. Let's keep going. So Paul is writing, For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not plausible with with uh, plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit. Holy Spirit, and of power so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Meaning he was explaining things in very simple terms so that people would understand, so that the power through the Holy Spirit would work on them, in them, so that they would be attracted to what he was teaching. So he wasn't using big, grandiose words, like, and, and, and so that, you know, we, he was speaking frankly. We must speak frankly to our brothers and sisters so they can, and not boast, not self-exalt that we know more. If I would speak in my normal daily language, you would not understand me, or you would have issues, and you oftentimes, as I, as I heard years ago, why you speak so funny? Because my background is in criminal law, and I would speak with, um, with the technical language, not understanding that um, for daily language, it was for me, it's normal. Um, so I've adjusted since because I had my child. I now work with children. So it's, it's, I've adjusted. I have to, my child is a special needs child. So is the child I work with, little JJ of whom I told you about. He's super sweet. And uh, they could not understand me unless I would repeat myself certain way and very simplistic words. And this has uh, brought me uh, a, a tremendous lessons in patience and patient endurance because I myself became 
along the lines, heavily, heavily attacked, spiritually, physically, mentally attacked, and all three oftentimes at the same time. And Father God, those were his tests for me because of who he shapes me, molds me, trains me to be for the church, for our brothers and sisters. I'm your fellow servant. I am a messenger, but I'm, your, I'm a fellow servant. We are in this together, and I will tell you whatever he's telling me so that you can survive the running of this race in the best possible way, getting the most spiritual gifts, getting the most best of the best, because I want you to experience the best. Sometimes it's going to be painful. Yes, trust me, nobody likes to be hurt. You've done this wrong or this needs to be purged. It's just how it is. But we will together, we will get there. So confess your sins to one another, expose one another, and call each other one out. Not in a negative way to despise somebody or when you know they're teaching word for word as Jesus is teaching and you go rebuke them. Obviously, Holy Spirit did not send you. It's the devil that has sent you. And so you need to identify that, that the devil has used you for his purposes. Because no, Holy Spirit will not send a child where Holy Spirit is teaching through, let's say, someone like me, Holy Spirit in you is not going to send you to rebuke me because Holy Spirit will not deny himself. Holy Spirit will not, will not rebuke himself. That's foolishness. That's silliness. So let's keep on going. Okay. My speech and procl my proclamation were not, with, were, were not with plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Because uh, we have to purge our human wisdom, brothers and sisters. It's all about the wisdom of God. Let's keep going. Verse 6 of first book of Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 6. What is the true of wisdom of God? And Paul, this is what he writes. Well, let's see what he writes. Yet among the mature, we do speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages of for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of glory. But as it is written, quotes, What no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things, Abba Father, God has revealed to us through the Spirit, Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything. For the Spirit searches everything. Did you get that? Even the depths of Yah depths of God for what human being knows what is truly human except that the human spirit that is within question mark so also no one comprehends what is truly God's except the spirit of God now we have received not the spirit of this world but the spirit that is from God Abba Father Holy Father Yahweh Yod I praise you so that we may understand the gifts bestow upon us by Holy Father, God Almighty. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, Holy Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual, those who are unspiritual receive the gifts of God's spirit for they are for those who are unspiritual do not receive again excuse me verse 14 chapter 2 of 1st Corinthians those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of God's spirit for they are foolishness to them and they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually undiscerned they have no spiritual discernment they are not spiritually discerned they don't have a spirit of wisdom in them or on them they think in their in their still wickedness and or they if they're not allowing that wickedness uh, they're allowing that wickedness to manifest why because their hearts are not purged so when someone like that comes your way and rebukes you my brothers and sisters treat them firmly at this point only rebuking them firmly with love but firmly 
will save their soul because if they're going to hear once or twice they will not say two years from now because we will be here for the tribulation i repeat we gentiles were hard, grafted in onto the jews and we jews must now go and tell our jewish brothers and sisters what an awesome covenant inheritance abba father has given them the messiah the mashiach two thousand years ago and they must acknowledge him embrace him and claim their inheritance we our inheritance is together with us what was a Jew in my family, let's say 700 years ago, 1500 years ago, is a you know, that what was a Jew then is a Gentile today. What was a Gentile? Uh, what is a Gentile today? Was a Jew 80 years ago because of World War II. Many families, women became Gentiles because they turned, they Jews became Christians due to concentration camps, due to that their entire families' parents were executed. They were adopted by Christian families and or Catholic families and of course Catholics in Europe consider themselves Christians we know today that technically that's not true but overall it matters what they think it matters that you know many of them don't even go to Catholic churches they don't know what happened to the Catholic Church but they were taught that they were all Christians there was no other churches to attend like in Russia or Poland or Czech Republic uh, Slovakia Hungary so they went to the Catholic churches because they were told to them it's Christian Church they refer to as Christian this is a whole other topic but what I'm saying is guys we got to go and my whole Bible just fell apart we have to go and harvest them from the bottom of our hearts we have to brothers and sisters um, assist our brothers and sisters forgive me for this so remember remember guys Those whom he predestined, he also called, and those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. If you want to be glorified with Jesus Christ, the Son, you have to become Christ-like. And I'm done talking. The life in spirit through the Ruach HaKodesh and through wisdom is a priority at this time. This is why I told you that you are not in the flesh, given that you are truly truly holy spirit led not because you said so but because jesus knows so and sees so hears you do so and because you act like so it, 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 you cannot be ever in the flesh again so if the devil's attacking all oh, in the flesh because you're looking up those prices you're in a budget da, da, da. no don't who cares if you know you're in a communication with Abba Father and you're on a budget, go ahead. You look those things up because God will provide. God, Jesus Christ, will provide for us, for you as for me. And I'm on a, listen, guys, I, I'm barely making it. Let me tell you, it's tough. I know it's tough, but we, he, Jesus promised, Abba Father promised, even through King David, even under the old covenant, in one of the Psalms of David, uh, as David, by the way, also was in a covenant by sacrifice, that's in a Psalm 50. Though you of the Church of Smyrna, you of the Church of Philadelphia, you in a, in you in a covenant also by sacrifice. Why? Because you sacrificed, you became a true living sacrifice unto God the Father. From the moment you enter into faith, the moment you repented of your sins, you said, do with me as you desire, Heavenly Holy Father. And God did so. Praise be to Jesus. And this is why you are, Jesus teaches. We are all, he desires gold from all of us. We're not going to have all the same positions of uh, honor and authority, but we all are equally important. Arms cannot say to legs, hey, you're not part of the church when, when body without legs cannot exist. And likewise, vice versa. Arms on the church cannot exist without the legs on the body of Christ. The body of Christ has legs and arms and, and, and the neck and the head. The head is, of course, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then we have immune systems, circulatory systems, nervous systems, digestive system. All of it, brothers and sisters, has represents different people doing, performing different jobs within the body of Christ. You, jo your job, what you have today and or what you had yesterday does not have to be what you are about to receive. So pray to Jesus to, to reveal to you, brothers and sisters, what your job within the body of church is. And what he will train you, what he has already trained you to be. And he will con you will continue in this training and you, and you will have few positions. 
not just what you're gonna have right now or what you had you will receive great rewards spiritual rewards abilities this is what's called the latter rain people who do not study do not seek jesus christ of nazareth will not receive the latter rain the latter rain will not just come to those because you sit at home and you read a couple of verses of scriptures latter rain brothers and sisters for those who are the bride of christ the gold god's gold and or who want to be strive to be abba father's gold spiritual gold meaning his family members but may i remind you if you want you want to say well i don't want to be that i want to be just guest at the wedding party well if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven you have to do follow the things that jesus says if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven this is what you have to do and of course jesus doesn't say that in exactly in those words he says you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you will carry the cross for the son of god you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you have three types of baptisms so and so on so forth there's quite a few of those teachings a lot of brothers and sisters are not aware of that because holy spirit never had a chance to guide you there why because either you are early on in the early stages of uh, running the race and you get there when you get there but now that you heard this through me when it's time, don't worry about those things. If you truly love Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit, and you make yourself moldable, teachable, you are willing to work on your personality traits, your character, you will become Christ-like. As long as you are truly in truth and in spirit, you are willing to become Christ-like. You, you will be glorified with Christ. And to be glorified with Christ, you have to suffer with Christ. Did you hear this? Let me read this to you. This is in the book of Romans chapter 8, verses 15 to verse 17. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. And when we cry, meaning the Holy Spirit, and when we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit, with our spirit, human spirit that we are children of God, that we are the children of Yah Yahweh, the great I am. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, I praise you. And, jo and therefore what? Joint heirs with Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. If in fact, it says here, if in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Praise be to Jesus. Did you hear this? To be glorified with Jesus Christ, you must suffer with Jesus Christ. This is divine law. I cannot change it, brothers and sisters. To understand this better, I repeat, read this in the book of Romans chapter 8. That's your homework. Uh, chapter 8 uh, uh, has many awesome topics like what it means to live in the flesh versus what when you're not in the flesh because you've entered this covenant and you're allowing Holy Spirit to guide you. Which means your hearts, your minds have to be purged of this world you have to be an enemy to this world not literal enemy but you know like you you're we all are in this world we cannot remove ourselves from this wor world until re he removes us to understand this better just simply read chapter 8 of the book of romans repeatedly until you understand there's many awesome interesting topics here including whom he uh, saved and for for that if he works in us he started to a good work in us he will also finish it brothers and sisters and he also he also it also spirit, spirit talks about what is the holy spirit what is life to live through the holy spirit it tells you what it is it discusses our future glory through Christ Jesus, then Abba Father's love in Christ Jesus. So brothers and sisters, please read this because this is so important. And remember, remember guys, where is this? Remember that your spiritual gifts can be, brothers and sisters, magnified, magnified in the days to come and they will be for the latter. And you're going to do greater works, greater works than Jesus Christ himself has done greater works. Now concerning the spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed for you know that when you were pagans, you were enticed to let to and led astray by idols that could not speak. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the spirit of God, meaning the Holy Spirit ever says, let Jesus be cursed, and no one will ever say by the presence of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus.
to each of us, brothers and sisters, then I'm going to skip up uh, two verses. And then in verse seven, he says, to each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good, meaning the Holy Spirit. To one is given through the spirit, the utterance of wisdom, and to another utterance of knowledge, accordance to the same spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit. And to another person, uh, faith is given by the same spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit. To another, a gift of healing is given by the Ruach HaKodesh meaning the Holy Spirit, to another working of miracles and to another prophecy and to another the discernment of spirits and to another various kinds of tongues. All of these are activated by one and the same Spirit who alludes to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. The Holy Spirit, seeing how much you love Jesus Christ of Nazareth, how much you truly love Yeshua HaMashiach, will, my brother, my sister, fill you up in accordance to how you are committed to Yeshua HaMashiach, how you are committed to Abba Father through Yeshua HaMashiach. You cannot skip Yeshua HaMashiach Jews. You cannot skip the three baptisms. You need baptisms in accordance to only how Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching. You need to repent of your sins only in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, addressing Abba Father, Yod Vahe Yahweh, I praise you. I don't want to say the name, Hebrew name of Abba Father in English, God, God Almighty, because that's not his title. And a wise virgin knows that, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is called Yeshua HaMashiach. We have God's testimonies through scriptural Bible codes that also, of course, proves that. We have our Jewish brothers and sisters that speak Hebrew who prove that, how they call him. And of course, God the Father was always referred to as four letters, the so-called Holy Tetragrammaton. It's Yod Vahevave, four Hebrew letters, representative of, of numbers and numbers 10, 5, 6, and 5, which is signed. Those four letters are signed on your four building blocks within your double helix human DNA. But those are a whole different teachings. I did those teachings. They're awesome. Look them up. And the four building blocks are like in a, in a double helix human DNA. It's like cytosine, thiamine, and the enemy wants to interject something, brothers and sisters, into into one of those four building blocks where the number six is, he wants to interject number 66. So it would be 666, meaning the mark of the beast could be, as I said, physical and also, as I said, spiritual. So beware, brothers and sisters. Don't hope for the great day of the Lord. To understand this, read Amos 5.18. I'm reviewing that with you because many did not do that. You need to read Amos 5.18. Don't hope for the rapture. Don't pray for the great day of the Lord. Pray for the harvest, that the harvesters will be many. And pray that you will understand and know what your mission here on earth is. And don't worry about it tree as long as you're willing as long as you're praying for it it will come and you will know but if you read scriptures every day you will know earlier what he's training you for you will see that maybe your what your gifts are already so to know this go back to the first book of corinthians brothers and sisters and please address this by reading again the book of corinthians chapter 11. yes chapter 11. or is it chapter 12. Chapter 11 is head coverings, which is spiritual gifts is in chapter 12. Chapter 12, I repeat, correction, chapter 12. My, This is so annoying. My Bible is like sliding down on, off my pillow, and I'm trying to flip the page to finish finally about wisdom. We're done. Those who are spiritual, those of you who are spiritual, meaning Holy Spirit really speaks through you, and you know it, you felt it, you know you never self-exalted, you know you don't self-exalt over others or your brothers and sisters. I repeat what, what Jesus speaks through Paul and tells. I repeat, those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of, the, of God's Spirit. So if you are unspiritual, you will not receive any of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not for, or on the forefront of leading your life. You're not Holy Spirit filled. You're not the light in the darkness that you think you are, some of you, because you're still so bitter. you got to get rid of that. You have to work on that. And the good news, you still can. The door is still open. If you're not running the race, the door is still open. Please open the door. Listen to God's wisdom when it addresses you. Please, it will save your life. Don't cut yourself out of your own inheritance. N not that you have power to do that. But God, you know, God wants us all to repent and, and then he wants to train us. Not one of us has this 
everything perfect together, not one of us. Whether you've been awakened for five years, I know of people who've been with Jesus Christ for 70 years and they don't know the things that I know. They don't know the things you know. And what I know, maybe you know something else on one of those topics way more than I ever did. And that's your specialty. And that's why I'm here to remind you, continue on training that will be useful in the days to come. You're already useful, maybe in giving good advice, sound advice, motivation, kindness, generosity. Go learn what the spiritual gifts are. Again, chapter 12 of the first book of Corinthians. Now let's get back for a few seconds to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 to 16. Those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of God's spirit, for they are foolishness to them. And they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually undiscerned. Those who are spiritual discern all things. They are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. Quotes, for who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him? Question mark. But we have the mind of Christ. So Paul here is telling you straight up, people who are spiritually discerned, who can tell apart from far away, whatever, right away, if there's a spirit of spirit of darkness, spirit of jealousy, spirit of strife, spirit of war it, it, on someone or speaking through someone or through someone's dreams, vision is false, this, that, yeah. And again, it takes what? Time and training. And all, every single one of you can get there. But that's what God's, God's gold can do. So if you're not there yet or you're not 100% sure, that's okay. Before any of us ever spoke in public, we were trained. And then we, we, what we speak on we, is because we have mastered that. We overcame that perfectly as a test over and over again. And, you are, and we continue on testing the spirits on everything we listen out there. Why? Because... God simply said, obey my command. Jesus says, if you love me, you obey my commandments. Jesus says, if you love me in another's precept, divine law, so to speak, obey my orders, obey my commands. So if Abba Father, everything that Jesus was teaching, Yeshua HaMashiach was teaching brothers and sisters, is God the Father's teaching and a command. A command could be directed to help us uh, on as needy basis as we experience sorrow, danger, whatever we need, and or uh, as we need to use per situation or per circumstances, while other things he simply says, do it. And you got to simply do it. It doesn't matter what you think. Well, I already know this. Show him that you are obedient. If you know that verse, show him. Go open the Bible. Double sure. Double make sure. Triple make sure that that's the verse that you know this person saying is in the Bible. That that person didn't, didn't uh, use 99% of the scripture and flipped one little word in it to, to teach, to squeeze in deception. That's how the devil teaches. He uses 99% of truth to squeeze that 1% of the deception. Notice that. The devil always in all the dreams and visions, people who refuse to test the spirits, they, these, are, these people are not spiritually discerned. These people are, these people are not led by the Holy Spirit. They're, they're led through those dreams and visions and they boast in them and get puffed up over those visions and dreams like horrific. And there, this is also addressed in our new covenant through the apostles. You are not to follow such people. You have to say no to such people. Don't be entertained by such wickedness. That's wickedness. These people, through using of the scriptures and the devil, the, the, instead of passing on the test, Abba Father sends people 13 years in a row, every year, every month, brother and sister, this, this cannot be possibly dream from God the Father because it contradicts the covenant. It contradicts who Jesus is. It contradicts who the Holy Spirit is. They, they're, no, no, Jesus loves me so much, he would never send the devil my way. Well, you're foolish. You're foolish. All things are his servant, but that's besides the point. Of course, you're going to be tested and tried. And of course, you, you're no different than me. You all, brothers and sisters, we all must learn to test the spirits and do it all the time till you've done it so many times. And you, you must read scriptures over and over again, the same scriptures over and over again, asking for your daily spiritual lessons. Allow Holy Spirit to guide you because you have perfect plan ordained for that week, for that month, by God the Father through Jesus Christ the Son. Are you willing to access it? Do you access it today? Or do you have not, you don't even have 10 minutes for Jesus every day? 
Did you praise him in the morning? Just say, good morning, Father, good morning, Jesus, before you pick up that phone, which is symbolic, let's say, of this world, or worldliness, whatever. Let's say just the world. Make sure that he's first. Make a point. If you didn't know, you didn't know. That's why you're here to learn. That's why you're here to do better. If you forget, that's okay, too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, go out of your way to hear Jesus. Strive to find him and to hear him so he can show you all those little things and also how to collect all your extra blessings. Wisdom will teach you those little things. I teach that here on this channel. Just reading, for example, Book of Revelation out loud blesses you. Did you know that? Blessed are all, are all who hear the word of God and put it into practice is another blessing. You, we must be brothers and sisters. Jesus was teaching that. Not only the hearers of the, of the, the word, meaning all that Jesus was teaching, the covenant, the teachings there through parables, but we must be the doers, doers of the word of Yah, the word of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth's teachings. We have to do and perform and whenever possible, teach to others. I love you, brothers and sisters. May you test the spirit on everyone you listen to. Stop obsessing over departing from this world. God has ordained people to teach on those things, but those people already should be coming out of that they're leaving right now anywhere. You will remain here on earth harvesting and we will work on you on great exoduses ahead of us. We will be here to hear the testimony in thus saith the Lord of the two witnesses and we will see them judge the wickedness within our own church. You hear me? Within our own church and any other wickedness, brothers and sisters, of this world there is a famine coming an actual famine because brothers and sisters the most but we will never starve as god spoken through king david my children will never be out there on the street begging for food for it is written therefore it's a precept so on our best day and on our worst day we are assured water and we are assured bread bread and water Re expect the best Pray for the best, but prepare for the worst and be ready to harvest. This is all about awaking another person, sowing a seed in their heart that they would want to maybe change, work on themselves to inspire them to change, to, to, to give them a new call, hope, to give people hope. We are here to give people hope, to persevere so they can overcome their sadness, their bitterness as the enemy is trying to weigh you down heavy in your emotions, in your depression. You, my brothers and sisters, you will overcome whatever is happening in your life right now you will overcome and trust me you're not going to be disabled forever you're gonna you are here to move things around believe in the miracles believe in the power of god believe whatever he's trying to show he will show you how to get out of it it might not be always how we want to beloved brothers and sisters but remember we will overcome this I love you, my brothers and sisters. In the next video, just quickly, I will go over all the verses to show you how the woman of Revelation 12 sign speaks of daughter Zion, who is Queen Zion, who is the Abba Father's wisdom, I believe, in the human body. She is the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. Uh, 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 those things might not be connecting in all those verses unless you do a study individually on who wisdom is, who the Holy Spirit is. I wouldn't recommend you do that unless you first did the study on who Jesus Christ as the Son of God, as your Savior, as your Mashiach is. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Stay blessed. Have a beautiful day. Write me if you have any questions. Write me. Uh, my email is smallcapsanya, A-N-I-A, 2662, at gmail.com. Again, smallcaps, A-N-I-A, 2662, at gmail.com. Write me if you have... Um, I pray for you every single day. I pray for our children, our elderly, our pets, farmhouse, uh, our, our territories, meaning our houses, farmhouses, our pets and animals in general. Brothers and sisters, we pray. Uh, I pray for our double helix human DNA. I pray for our immune systems, health systems. Pray, pray for your neurons and neurotransmitters. Pray for your um, brain activity. Pray for your protection through the Ruach HaKodesh. And remember, a test is a test. A test is given so that you can pass them, not to fail them. And remember that a righteous man may fall seven times, but God rises them up each time while the wicked fall to their calamity. Remember, commit your actions unto the Lord and you shall succeed. Remember that the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping the watch on the, on the wicked and the righteous.
Remember that Yeshua HaMashiach, the name above all names, he, the Lord is a strong tower. A righteous man runs into it. Righteous man runs into it. And he, she is saved. So make sure that you are righteous, faithful, loyal. Loyalty is better than sacrifice, wisdom teaches us. Loyalty is better than sacrifice. So praise and worship, be grateful, thankful. And whenever you can, be grateful for your bodily functions. Be grateful for as little as you have, as much as you have. Be grateful that you can get up this morning and you see the sun. Because there will be people in a few years, they will not see the sun. They will see calamities while if we're still here, that's His will, then we'll be here. Expect the supernatural multiplication. Expect the, the, the holy manna, hidden ma the, the hidden manna, the holy manna, the bread in the wilderness to multiply. Expect the desert place to turn into rivers and, and uh, to, to be turned into, you know, uh, just beautiful oasis for you and I to sit in and relax and have our time uh, of praise and worship of our beloved Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, whom we must love first and foremost as number one in our lives, no matter what take, what's taking place in our life. Make him number one above your children, above your situation. And Jesus says, seek the kingdom of heaven first, and then everything else will be added on to you. Show that you treat him first and the best over anything else then he will heal you he will heal your children he will improve your financial situation he will give you your heart's desires but I repeat this is all a while while the time you will be do performing his will because you will we here to harvest we heal to work a person that loves Jesus God was an example to us his son Jesus was an example to us we must become Christ like remember what God God's gold is bride of Christ is Abba father's gold we must become Christ-like and we must, uh, we must strive every single day to become Christ-like and therefore to also understand what that means. There will be periods of trials and testings and some may be even in the days, years to come, I become very faithful, very, excuse me, painful. But you must remain faithful, holy and true for he is holy, faithful and true and he will never deny himself. He will never deny us. He will never leave us nor forsake us no matter what. He's inside of you. Work hard now to hear him within you through the Holy Spirit. I love you, brothers and sisters. Amen.